This week we're talking the now finalized Sandra Bullock, Jesse James divorce, the latest Idol and Dancing with the Stars news, and Lindsay Lohan's week from hell. And you promise that's the only photo we could find of her? Tube talks are coming, but first we'd like to welcome aboard a new sponsor because KFC's already yanked their sponsorship after sales of the Double Down actually dropped. To our credit though, we didn't know we weren't supposed to actually show what the sandwich looked like unwrapped. Filling the void though is our new sponsor, Moe's Dark Bacon Bar. Finally, the wholesome goodness of chocolate covered bacon in a box that fits comfortably in the elastic waistband of your pants. Moe's Dark Bacon Bar, job security for your cardiologist. Mmm. How about some tube talk? Oh, Rusty is bumping Tony from behind. Holy cow, Tony flips his car. Think about that for a moment now. Kiss my fat. You thought this whole thing was over, didn't you? Well, it's not, as long as David Letterman's still mic'd up. See, though the late night wars seem to have died down with Jay back at NBC and Conan moving to TBS, Dave, it seems, hasn't finished with his rents from the comfort of the more stable CBS studios. Which works for us, because frankly, it's been a light week. Dr. Phil dropped by the late show a few days back and made the mistake of bringing up the Conan-Jay feud. I love Jay saying, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I, my show got canceled too. Yeah, but you got, you got your old show back, you know, it was just hilarious. God, I'm sorry I asked. Well, we're not, in fact. We kind of want more. When we first met and were hanging around, everybody loved Jay because he's so funny. He's so, so engaging, so compelling. You can't not love him. But then there's also the other side of him where, and, and I think he would own up to it, he's just a complete boob. <laughs> <laughs> he, can't, he can't help himself. Yeah. Love me a good pot stir. And speaking of complete boobs, perhaps a bit beyond complete, Pamela Anderson had her best week yet on Dancing with the Stars. The actress for once wasn't in the bottom three and thus lived to flash her silicone for another week. As for Jake Pavelka, eh, not as lucky. On this sixth week of competition, the couple with the lowest overall combined total, and therefore leaving right now, is... Jake and Chelsea. Oh, sorry Jake, but hey, maybe there's room for you over on TLC, but You'll need to think of a show title that incorporates your name into a catchy, albeit cliche phrase. Enter Kate Gosselin's new show, Twist of Kate. You see, Kate rhymes with fate, oh. and that's just gold. Anyway, the multiple's mama isn't resting on her laurels after America tossed her from Dancing with the Stars. Details continue to emerge about Mama Gosselin's new program. TLC reps say the show will profile women inspired by Kate's story, and production slated to start as soon as TLC finds a woman inspired by Kate's story. We can wait. Okay, I'm bored. Finally, over on Idol, twas Shania Twain week. Or as you know it, programming that makes bars and tone look exciting. <laughs> I think I'd watch that. Standout wise, Casey James led the pack with his rendition of Don't. So nice. As far as who's gonna watch next week's shows from the comfort of their mom's basement? The person who goes home tonight is Siobhan Magnus. Well, that sucks. Don't feel bad, though. This guy didn't make it all the way. She plays, she plays. Oh, baby, when she moves, she moves. I go crazy because she looks like a flop, but she stings like a bee. And look at him now. Let's go stargazing. <laughs> You know how frustrating it is when you get caught cheating on your wife with a white supremacist stripper and everyone starts calling you a Nazi? Yeah, that old story. And Jesse James can relate. Sandra Bullock's soon-to-be ex has had a rough week, as Sandra made their split official by filing for divorce in Austin, telling People Magazine she's moving on and even adopting a child. And what do you suppose Mr. James's white supremacist mistress would think of Jesse's ex's new bundle of joy? I don't see how she couldn't love him. As for that reputation as a Nazi lover, just as the hype surrounding Jesse's Sig Heil salute starts to die down, his dad sits down with TMZ and says this. I don't ever recall my son ever 
dressing like that, but he did have a fascination with the Nazis. And it started at an early age. Well, I was more of a He-Man guy, but whatever does it for you. When asked if he truly does admire the fascist regime, Jesse released a statement saying simply, nine, 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 nine. You didn't know Hitler couldn't count to ten, did you? Moving on, what might amount to a rough patch for Jesse, Lindsay Lohan would call a light week. The actress whose nose has seen more powder than a funnel cake is having major daddy issues as of late. In a move he claims is for his daughter's safety, Michael Lohan has hired lawyers in an effort to force Linz into rehab. The two duked it out over Twitter all week after Papa Lohan's unsuccessful visit to Lindsay's home to remove his younger daughter, Allie, from what he's deemed an unsafe situation. Michael's legal team also announced their intention to file for a cons conservatorship that would give the ex-con control of Lindsay's finances, because that's worked so well here. For more salt in the wound, turn to director David Michaels, who just fired Lindsay from his film The Other Side, claiming she's, quote, not bankable. And finally, there's Lindsay's ex, Samantha Ronson, whose head Lindsay used as cocktail glass hurling target practice when the two bumped into each other at a club over the weekend. Sam said this of the encounter. Why well, did throw a glass at you? So, thrown glass, fired from a gig, visited by cops, homegirls only one penis flash away from Jim Morrison's status. Wow! Lizard King. Finally, there's the whole Tito Ortiz, Jenna Jameson debacle. In case you weren't aware, cops recently hauled Tito off after his porn star girlfriend accused the ultimate fighter of using her as a training bag. And as you might imagine, a few hours later, a freshly bailed out Tito had an explanation for Jenna's claims. Unfortunately, Jenna Jameson has been facing and fighting a battle with Oxycontin addiction for well over a year. For Tito and his family, this has been an uphill battle. Unfortunately, this morning, Jenna relapsed. Oxycontin? I don't know. If Jenna was hooked on meds, it'd be hard for her to keep her story straight. He did not beat me. But what about this? Tito just went on, uh, on uh, publicized that on the uh, press conference says you've been addicted to the Oxycontin. That's what he's saying. Let's talk about trying to save somebody's <laughs> for being a wife beater. Hmm. Well, despite the inconsistencies, Tito may not be out of the woods quite yet, as we're told several people have video proof of Jenna Jameson getting slammed. hi -oh! Let's visit the real world. Just when you thought Hollywood was on a hot streak, a Brennan Fraser movie drops and crushes whatever faith you had left in humanity. Ouch! Too cruel? Have you seen the trailer for Furry Vengeance? It's about a man who relocates to the woods to oversee a tree-destroying construction project, and the woodland animals do everything in their exaggerated powers to stop him. And the trailer is supposed to show the good parts. Let's move on to Nightmare on Elm Street. What's that? Why, yes, there is a 1984 Wes Craven film by the same title. So, as Diddy would say, Yes, and this remix stars a group of people you've never heard of as the unfortunate souls whose dreams Freddy Krueger invades. Hello? If you keep falling asleep, they're gonna kick you out of here. Sorry. Yep. Poop my pants. Anyway, the line between nightmare and reality blurs when someone ends up dead for reals. And it seems staying awake is the only way to avoid the same fate. There's no more heads, Nancy. We gotta stop this. Don't fall asleep. How? Yes. How? Try five hour energy. It has zero sugar, only four calories, and comes in a small, non belch inducing size. Well, that'd work, but. What if you want to belch? Guess you're screwed. Well, we're finished for the week. Visit our sister sites, 1065thearch.com and wil92.com for past episodes and other semi-entertaining fare. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube, username ToastedRev. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.